Well, welcome to Novi, everyone. For those of you that might not know me, I am Cheryl Walsh Malloy, and it is my pleasure to serve as the Director of Communications for this amazing city that we all love. To lead us off this morning, we have Novi's own Miss Sydney Gary, who is going to share some beautiful patriotic renditions. skies for amber waves of rain a fountain majesties we reign above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy God with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, beautiful for pilgrim feet who stern in passion strength Talk about an incredibly talented young woman. I, I'm just 
Wow, speechless. Thank you so much, Sydney. It was absolutely moving and beautiful. If I could now ask Father Bob LaCroix from Holy Family Novi to share an invocation. Father of all and source of all good things, we thank you for the freedom that we have in this country and the blessings of living in the city of Novi. We pray that you continue to bless this city. We pray that the city is a place where people can come together and not be driven apart. We pray that in this city, the stranger and the sojourner can find a home because they are welcome in our hearts. We pray that you give us wisdom from above to face the challenges of here below. We pray that this place continue to attract men and women of high character and strong virtue who find in public service a noble calling, putting the common good above personal interest. Good Lord, give us the vision to build a future where every person has a place, every talent has a use, and every heart can find a home. We need you, Lord. We cannot do this without you. In your mercy, please bless this place. Amen. Thank you, Father LaCroix. And with that, I ask that you enjoy a wonderful lunch prepared today by the Suburban Collection Showplace staff. They will be releasing you by tables to the buffet out in the hall, and we will be back after lunch. Enjoy. <music> State of the City 2023. What's the theme? What's the theme? Oh my goodness. <phone rings> Cheryl Walsh Malloy calling me. Hello? Cheryl, Cheryl, good to hear from you. No, I, I am drawing a blank. This is, this is more difficult this year than ever before. I am just drawing a blank. So Cheryl called me wants to know how I'm doing on the State of the City address. The fact is, I have no idea what I'm going to say. Do you have any ideas? You know, no, I haven't. That's a great idea. And oh, by the way, I don't report to Cheryl. She doesn't know that, but I don't. So I'm going to hang up and look at those now. And maybe it'll spur my, my memory and my mind to work. So give me a call in about an hour, okay? Okay, thank you. Goodbye. All right. She's right. I should have looked at these right away. Let's look at this first one. Skipper, what is this? Well, I found it floating up on our beach here. And now we have an acne hut in a box. A hat, acne hut in a box? What's this? Well, you know, I did a little bit of preliminary design work, and I figured that, seeing you're the little buddy, you're in the corner here. But that's a small, that's a real tiny bedroom, Skipper. Come on. Well, the important people... Uh, your bedroom... Oh, Mary Ann! Hi! Mary Ann, hi. Mary Ann hey, look at the beautiful layout that we have. You and Ginger have to share a big room. I have the master bedroom. But my bedroom is right so small. That's not fair. And I have no closet. Why does Ginger get a closet? Well, because Ginger has clothes. You only have a couple <laughs> shirts that you wear. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? I'm the City of Novi Building Inspector. You can't build a 200-square-foot pink hut in a box here in Novi. Here's your stop work order. Just stop! Little buddy, you blew it again! Hut in a box? Glad we changed those plans. Lakeshore Park. I'm glad I brought some snacks. This is a very stressful endeavor here. Lakeshore Park. I like that. Okay. 
Um, all right, the next one is going to be, oh, let's make a deal. Brings us to number two here. Where you've already won a <laughs> fabulous trip for two, a boatload of money. Do you want to hold on to that, or do you want to take your chances at curtain number two or number three? One of them is the big deal of the day. What do you want? Let's check in with the audience. <laughs> Um, I'm going to keep my trip. You're going to keep your trip? Yeah. Are you sure? Very happy with it. All right. He's going to keep his trip. What curtain would you have chosen had you made that choice? I'm going to say probably number two. Number two. Blair, I hate to tell you this, but that was the big deal of the day. Okay. Let's open up curtain number two and show him what he turned down. An all-new expanded state fairground with zero zoning restrictions, all the signs you could ever want, and tax abatements oh, no. until 2099. Oh, no. I want to reconsider. Oh, no, no, reconsider. reconsider. No, 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 no. Hmm. I wonder if those tax abatements are still available. All right, so let me see. I've got parks. We've got development. What else do we need? What else? Transportation. We need transportation. Let's take a look at this video. You know, maybe I think you might have taken the wrong way. Take the long way. No, I said the wrong way. This is weird, this guitar music, don't you think? Turn down for what? Turn down for what? Come on, Matt. When are you going to let me drive my car? Public safety. I wonder if Cheryl, I wonder if she sent me any links on public safety. Let's look here. What's this one? There's no time for that. I have to go fight crime. Dun, da, da, da. Underpants. That's Chief Underpants, and you're the evildoer that's causing all this traffic. <laughs> okay, now let's see what we can get Chief Zinzer to do. There is no way I'm getting in that outfit. No way. Okay, what's next? Oh, the red carpet. I remember that one. That I remember that like it was filmed yesterday. That all my friends were there and they were just so excited and they were waiting, waiting to hear what I had to say for that. Okay, let's play that one. Good morning, I'm Cheryl Walsh Malloy and I am coming to you live from the red carpet here at the Suburban Collection Showplace where we are just about ready to host the State of the City Address. What are you looking forward to today? What do you think the mayor's going to say? No, mayor will be talking about no why, no why, no why, no why is the best. Speech is about four hours, I heard. Oh, that's too much. No. <laughs> what do you think Mayor Gant's going to talk about today? Himself, probably. Yeah. That's not nice. Kind of hurts me. Okay, let me see what the next one is. I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Victor. How are you? I was just thinking about you. Hey, Mayor. What brings you in today? Hi, uh, Victor. I'm just working on the State of the City address. You're going to be there, aren't you? I think I can. Uh, I think I can. Trash Mountain on, was the guy. biggest challenge of Victor the Train's career. He tugged and pulled and tugged and chugged. Go, go, go. Yeah. Woo yes. Yes. Victor, by now it should be, I know I can. Mmm. 
That's good. That's the best. Hey, that's it. Novi. Novi is the best. Novi is simply the best. I think I got it. Novi is simply the best. You're simply the best. Better than all the rest. Better than anyone. Anyone I ever met. I'm stuck on your When the former mayor of Novi stepped down, whoever that guy was, <laughs> the, the people of the United States of America have elected three different people as president. There have been five U.S. secretaries of state, and the Detroit Lions have had four different head coaches. <laughs> but the people of the city of Novi during that time span have elected one man as our mayor. It is my honor and privilege to introduce that man, the mayor of the city of Novi, Bob Gatt. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. And thank you all for being with us today. And before I begin this two-hour speech, uh, let me say this. To our video team, simply the best. A huge round of applause, please, to Damon, Josh, and Trevor. Yeah, not only did they make me look good, which is pretty tough, but they made it so much fun. I truly appreciate you all and enjoy working with you. Uh, I want to acknowledge our elected officials before I begin, starting with our mayor pro tem, Dave Stout, and his wife, Jean, is here. Dave. <laughs> Council member Justin Fisher is here. <laughs> Council member Laura Marie Casey is here. <laughs> Council member Hugh Crawford and his wife, Kathy, is here. And our two newest council members, Brian Smith is here, and Erica Thomas. And of course, our interim city manager, Mr. Victor Cardenas, and his wife is here. And all of our city employees who each day work hard to ensure that Novi is simply the best. All the Novi city employees, a round of applause. To my good friend, former Mayor David Landry, thank you for being here. Serving on council with you and learning from you was a true honor. David, you are the best. Your guidance and continued mentorship that partisan politics has no place in local government and to do what is best for our Novi, the community as a whole at all times are truly appreciated. Thank you, David. We also have with us today the mayor of Westland, Mr. Michael Londo, and his chief of staff. And, and our elected officials from Oakland County, Commissioner Gwen Markham and Commissioner, I see him out there, Dr. A.J. Ramon. They're here. Let me also thank Blair Bowman and the Suburban Collection Showplace for hosting us today, as well as our friends and community partners at Ascension Providence Hospital and Vibe Credit Union for sponsoring our event.
and special thanks to my friend, Father Bob LaCroix, for his very thoughtful uh, invocation. And Sydney Gary, a, a Novi High School senior, for the beautiful patriotic rendition she shared earlier. A round of applause for that. That, that young lady's going to be a star, huh? She reminds us how blessed we are to live in the greatest of all countries and to have the number one school district in Michigan, Novi Community Schools, right here in our Novi. Uh, yeah. I know our new school superintendent is with us today, Mr. Ben Manka. Ben, would you stand up? Thank you all. And last but certainly not least, programs and events like this don't happen by accident. Anyone who knows her knows that she is simply the best. And Novi is so blessed and lucky to have her. I'm lucky to call her my friend. Cheryl, Cheryl Walsh Malloy, our Director of Communication. Cheryl, thank you. Everyone in the audience who's ever put together a party for 300 people knows the difficulties you might encounter. Cheryl makes it look easy. Cheryl, I can't thank you enough. All right, we haven't gathered together since 2019, and I promised myself I wasn't gonna focus on the pandemic, but it took us through some challenging times as a community and as individuals. During the height of the crisis, Every aspect of our life was affected. Health, finances, business, social interactions, education, jobs, family, even the way we communicated. In those most difficult times, instead of allowing instability, working together, we achieved a seamless transition at City Hall and continued to, to deliver consistent, quality services our Novi residents and businesses deserve, and still accomplish some pretty amazing feats. Thank you to our city staff team, our residents, and community partners for all that you have done. We rose to the occasion together. The examples we continue to set for others as one Novi, gives me great comfort and confidence that as we face future challenges, working together, we will continue to thrive. Again, you are simply the best. Now, before we look to the future, it's important we take some time and look at all the accomplishments since we last gathered. This should only take two to three hours, so sit back and relax. I'm not kidding. No, of course I am kidding. I will just share some of the quick highlights. Let's start with Novi's fiscal health. Inflation is on everyone's mind these days. We are experiencing an unchartered economic environment where inflation, while slowly coming down, remains high. And similar to the many factors that we have all experienced in our own homes and businesses, the city's budget is not immune to inflation either, and our costs to provide quality services have increased. That being said, the city of Novi continues to be in excellent financial condition, boasting the highest bond rating possible of AAA. The AAA rating is only given to those communities with outstanding financial conditions now and the same forecast into the foreseeable future. For the general fund, normal inflation of 2 to 3% equates to approximately 760,000 to 1.1 million for one year. Therefore, current inflation of 4 to 6% can have an impact of 1.5 to $2.5 million, which is why we have been monitoring it so closely. On the positive side, the city's general fund balance has increased from 13.7 million in fiscal year 2021 to almost 16.4 million in fiscal year 2022. 
The city's general fund is largely driven by strong property values and state shared revenue, or sales tax, which account for more than 75% of our general fund revenue. State shared revenue received a one-time census adjust adjustment of $1.4 million in fiscal year 22. Now let me pause there for one minute and digress. I just said the words, a one-time census adjustment. Between the years 2010 and 2020, Novi was one of the fastest growing cities in Oakland County. The 2020 census stated Novi's position as being a growing and attractive community with a population of 66,243 people. That was an increase of 20%. This growth enhances our fiscal health. This growth occurs because of our fiscal health and other amazing attributes which you will hear about as I continue. Back to the state shared revenue. It is projected to increase 6% or $362,000 from fiscal year 22 to fiscal year 2023. Property tax revenues continue to steadily rise. Fiscal year 2023 general fund property taxes are projected to increase by $941,000 or 3.6%. The city remains committed to making improvements in its current infrastructure and bringing new assets to its residents. The fiscal year 2023 capital improvement program includes $22.6 million in investment. Significant improvements include $9.9 million in roads, $400,000 in sidewalks and pathways, $6.4 million for storm, sewer, and water distribution, $2.1 million for the splash pad at Bosco Fields, and another $3.8 million for building property improvements, equipment, and technology. While the economy has rebounded well the last couple of years, and we depend on that continued strength to fund the critical services we provide to the community, we will proceed prudently and cautiously, keeping in mind the overall delicate financial environment. The city's financial position is the envy of many others. It is favorable and stable. And unlike many other jurisdictions, our general fund reserve is healthy, simply the best. Notwithstanding our strong financial and reserve position, we are continually assessing and reassessing and we will be prepared if we see a reduction in revenues. When I was first elected mayor in 2011, working with and learning from my budget gurus at Oakland County government, I asked the city to prepare multi-year budgets that strive to balance the community's needs with the financial resources available and look into the future to prepare for any roadblocks ahead. Today, although the potential for a recession in the near term continues, Novi is in solid position to withstand the potential slowing in the economy. Now, our fiscal health relies on continued investment in Novi. In 2020, Novi saw nearly $80 million in investment. In 2021, more than $74 million, and in 2022, almost $95 million. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's just under $250 million that has been invested in our Novi in just the past three years. Investments from companies like Our Next Energy, a Michigan-born company focused on battery technology. Cleveland Cliffs, North America's largest supplier of iron ore pellets to the steel industry. 
Lineage Logistics, the world's most innovative provider of temperature-controlled supply chain and logistics solutions. Magna EV, the world's third largest automotive supplier. It's also businesses such as these which led Entrepreneur Magazine to designate Novi as the number two innovative city in the United States for 2020. That's the whole country. And as vibrant as our large business base is, and it is, we are equally balanced by amazing smaller businesses who choose to make Novi their home. Since we last met, many local entrepreneurs have put their heart and souls into customer-friendly establishments, including Sweetwater's Cafe, Chick-fil-A, Crumble Cookies, The Hub, Sedona Tap House, Batteries Plus Bulbs, Texas Roadhouse, Ashley Home Furniture, Me, My Selfie and I, and many, many more, right here in our Novi. Now, I would be remiss if I also didn't mention openings just this past Monday, Novi's own Ford Garage, Ford's Garage. Many thanks to Billy and Amy Downs, longtime Novi residents for their continued faith in and love for our Novi. Are they here, Billy and Amy? They're probably serving a bunch of food right now. But we offer, we, we wish them all and all the businesses in our city success because when they succeed, we succeed. These businesses, including our world-class shopping and entertainment destinations such as 12 Oaks Mall and 12 Mile Crossing at Fountain Walk and others, draw people to Novi, both residents and visitors. It's no secret Low property tax rates, a fiscally responsible city government and quality, efficient services define Novi as a community of choice for business and industry. But we must also be a community which is safe. In 2021, the Novi Police Department received re-accreditation from the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies and the Michigan Law Enforcement Accreditation. The Communication Center also became accredited by the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies. Now, listen to this. Only 4% of law enforcement agencies in the United States are accredited by CALEA. Of the 584 law enforcement agencies in the state of Michigan, only 12, or 2%, are accredited by CLIA, and only 3, or 0.05%, are accredited through its communications accreditation program. Again, NOVI is simply the best. Round of applause, absolutely. Novi was ranked number five on the reviews.com safest cities in the United States in 2019. The pandemic had major effects on crime and crime patterns nationwide, and Novi was not immune. Due to closures and work from home policies, crime rates were dramatically affected and analysts had to develop new tracking methods and measures as year-to-year -year comparisons were not deemed accurate statistics. Domestic assaults have decreased nearly 10% from 2021, and criminal sexual conduct crime is down 45% from 2020. As a measure of crimes in relation to population, the United States averages a violent crime for every 0.38% of the population. Novi's violent crime rate is only 0.08%, far below the national average. We've also seen 
25% decrease in burglaries from 2021 to 2022, with an overall 47% decrease since 2018. The bottom line is our neighborhoods are safe and getting safer. In 2021, with the support of the Novi City Council, the, S the Novi Police Department purchased its first drones and has trained 14 operators. The drones have proven to be an effective and important tool in our uniform operations and have been successfully utilized to locate criminals, observe and document crime and accident scenes, assess severe weather damage, and oversee large city events like the State Fair. Now, our fire department is also working hard to make sure our citizens are safe. In 2022, we saw a 24% decrease in fires over 2021. Even though we witnessed an 8% increase in priority responses, mainly due to the 5% increase in EMS runs and a 25% increase in service calls, our response times remain consistent with an overall average of five minutes and 50 seconds for 2020 through 2022. After more than 33 years with the city of Novi, 2022 saw the retirement of our Director of Public Safety, our Chief of Police, Mr. David Malloy, and the appointment of Eric Zinzer to take his place at the helm. I am confident our public safety teams under his leadership will continue to exude the same professionalism and lead as one of the best in the country. Along with our public safety services, our Department of Public Works team works to ensure we have safe roads and quality infrastructure. Members of the Novi's Department of Public Works not only care for and maintain more than 210 miles of city roadway and 2,700 plus traffic control signs to ensure safe travel, but also look after 361 miles of water main to provide safe drinking water. 288 miles of sanitary sewer to protect public health, and 6,050 storm drainage basins. Critical infrastructure is often taken for granted, but not in Novi. Over the past several years, the Novi City Council has recognized a key to providing great customer service is equipping our field staff with the tools they need to get the job done. The city of Novi has recently invested in new plow trucks, an automated de-icing solution making system, and new multifunctional equipment like a Ventrac tractor and a Toolcat utility work machine, both to enhance efficiencies in the field for our staff and our residents. As Novi continues to grow, so does the work to keep our city sustainable. This past year, nearly 193 injured or hazardous trees were removed. 550 new trees were planted and approximately 4,000 plus existing plants were pruned. We also distributed nearly 1,500 tree and shrub seedlings to residents. As of today, the city's neighborhood tree inventory accounts for nearly 22,000 plus along Novi's roadways at an estimated value of more than $12 million. Throughout the year, dedicated men and women of our Department of Public Works team completed over 3,900 service requests and over 7,000 work orders related to infrastructure maintenance. They cleaned more than 425 stormwater collection structures in our neighborhood, removed, fabricated, and replaced over 168 street signs, and have, since July, road crews have utilized nearly $2.3 million 
in allocated funds to complete preventative and routine maintenance projects, such as crack sealing, spray patching, storm structure maintenance, street sweeping, winter maintenance, sign repair and replacement, non-motorized repairs, road grading, and concrete panel and asphalt repairs. You may recall in 2017, the city embarked on a neighborhood panel replacement program with a goal of replacing 1,000 concrete panels in our neighborhoods each year for five years. Now, I'm happy to report today we met that goal, and more than $5 million was invested directly in our neighborhoods. This work not only helps keep your streets safe, but also maintains our neighborhoods as desirable places to live. With these improvements and more, the city of Novi invested more than $20 million in infrastructure each year for the past three years. Keep in mind, this is just our city work. More than $60 million in local roads, water, drains, pathways. Additionally, the Road Commission for Oakland County invested $10 million on improvements to Grand River Avenue, Novi Road, and Ten Mile Road. I can attest, and believe me, myself and my city council colleagues, we hear about the complaints about construction all the time. No one loves construction season, but investing in our critical infrastructure, roads and pathways, truly sets Novi apart and is just another reason we are, come on, say it with me, simply the best. Once again last year, the city of Novi conducted a national community survey to gauge residents' perception of life in Novi. Results are then compared to national benchmarks, and I'm happy to share, Novi received much higher or higher than the benchmark ratings in 41 different categories. The full report is on the city's website at cityofnovi.org, and I won't talk for another hour sharing these details. But I do want to highlight a few things. The report shares four key findings for Novi. Number one, Novi residents experience a strong sense of community. Nearly all survey participants, 96%, applauded Novi as a place to live, and about nine in 10 offered excellent or good evaluations to the overall quality of life in the community. Number two, the economy continues to be a strong community feature. I already shared about that earlier, and I'm so happy to know that residents agree about nine in 10 participants offered positive evaluations to Novi's overall economic health, while a similar proportion identified economic health as an important focus area for the city in the coming two years, indicating that the local economy is both a strength and a priority. Number three, utility infrastructure is a priority for residents. This comes as no surprise. Sadly, the electric outages and the major water interruptions we experienced recently are due to utility companies who service our community. I think what gave me pause with, with this was all ratings in the categories related to the utility infrastructure were on a par with both national and peer benchmarks. And if that is the case, and the study says it is, then we as a state and as a country must do better. The Great Lakes Water Authority is investing approximately $100 million in a redundant water system to service our area so repairs can be made to the aging infrastructure to the east of us. Now, just last year, we met with our Attorney General, with Michigan Public Service Commission, 
We had the president of DTE to a forum with local mayors. And we will continue on behalf of all of our residents and businesses to urge them to invest in solutions to correct this aging infrastructure. I assure you there will be more to come from your Novi City Council where this is concerned. One thing the survey did specifically call out and was truly evident this past week as well, just over eight in 10 offered positive evaluations to the job Novi does at taking care of its vulnerable residents. My hat is off to our community emergency response team, our public safety and public work staff, and all our residents who assisted those in need. You truly embody the Novi spirit, simply the best. And number four, Novi's educational and cultural opportunities are a valued aspect of community livability. All ratings related to education, arts, and culture were either on par with or higher than national and custom benchmarks, and many were on the rise since 2020. Results indicated that education is highly valued by Novi residents, as it should be. I mentioned earlier, we have the number one school district in the state, Novi Community Schools. But many in Novi also go to the number two school district, Northville Schools. And we cannot forget, will not forget, one of, if not the most prestigious private schools in the state, Novi Catholic Central. Thank you to my dear friends, Novi Catholic Central Principal Father Patrick Fulton and CC President Ed Turek for joining us today. And by the way, Father and Ed, Father Elmer himself gave me permission to call the school Novi Catholic Central, and I will forevermore. <laughs> Virtually all residents, 97%, praised public library services. We do have the best library in the state of Michigan. Come on, a round of applause for our library. In fact, in 2019, the Novi Public Library received an award from the Library of Michigan for meeting the excellent level of quality services audit checklist. Novi is home to the only library in Michigan to receive this honor. Congratulations to the Novi Library. Thank you for always making us shine. A few other notable survey items made me smile. I'm not just talking a grin. I mean a big ear-to-ear -ear smile. The overall direction that Novi is taking higher than national average. Overall confidence in Novi government, higher than national average. Acting in the best interest of the community, higher than national average. Being honest, open, and transparent to the community, higher than national average. Informing residents about issues facing the community, higher than the national average. Treating residents fairly and with respect, higher than the national average. And one final note, I will quote the survey results on this one. Quote, the overall feeling of inclusivity likely contributes to the high quality of life experienced in Novi. Close quote. A strong majority offered positive ratings to the job that the Novi community does at attracting people from diverse backgrounds and valuing and respecting residents from diverse backgrounds, both of, much, both of which were much higher than the national and peer communities. If I could please ask all of our city team, all of the city staff here today, please stand. Please stand, city staff, all of you. Stay standing, 
The, the, the ratings from, from the residents of Novi don't happen by accident. They happen because of you all. Higher than the national average, much higher than the national average. You are an example to the entire country and are simply the best. Give yourselves a round of applause. I'm so proud of our Novi. You know what else makes me smile? Getting out and conducting my own little surveys, chatting with some of you and seeing what is really on your mind. Let's take a look. Well, good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good, buddy. Here we are at the beautiful 12 Oaks Mall in, what city are we in? We in. Oh. Uh, I don't even know. You don't know what city we're in? If I told you that we were in Novi, Michigan, what would you say? Wow. What brings you to Novi today? Just uh, getting some exposure for the dogs. Now, I've been told by a few people that Novi is going to the dogs. Can I ask you a question? Do you agree with that? What do you think? Well, when I say the word Novi, what comes to mind? Um, food and shopping. Uh, well, so far my experience of uh, Novi is that it's pretty nice actually. Reminds me of da uh, Phoenix in Arizona. Phoenix in Arizona? Scottsdale, there you go. Scottsdale. I believe it's a beautiful city every time I come out here, uh, especially the mall. I just always have a good time when I come out here. What's the first thing you think of when you hear the word Novi? Um, I don't Sweetwater. know. Sweetwater? Diverse. Uh, different and loving, I guess. Loving, yeah. I like that. If you were the mayor of Novi for one day, what would you do to make Novi a better place or a different place? Um, really, I have no complaints with, with how things are currently, so I don't know if I can make any changes to make things better. I feel very content with uh, how things are currently. All right, it's a great city, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Do you live in Novi? Um, no, we live in Northville. Northville? Yeah. Northville's a cute little town. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's like our little cousin, our little brother, something little brother. Novi, yeah. Do you love Novi? Do I love Novi? Yeah, I mean, you're here shopping, right? I love Novi. There you go. Do you know how Novi got its name? I do not. I'd Any see, idea? I'd see, it's an Indian name? An Indian name. Yeah, an Indian name. Is it? I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know either. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of another city, either in England or in America, called Novi? No. Can you guess how we got our name? Something to do with heritage, maybe? Indians? Heritage. Indians? You know, you're the second person to answer that. It could be. How did Novi get its name? Do you know that? Uh, can I phone a friend? You can. No, we don't have time to phone a friend. I know you already know this Is this story. rhetoric? Is this rhetorical? It's not rhetorical. This is, this is an actual question. If you could ask the mayor of Novi one question, what would you ask him or her? I would ask, hey, how did Novi get its name? That's a good question. Do you think he would know? He? Um, or she. Or she. I would sure, I would hope so. If you could ask the mayor any questions, what would you ask him or her? Hmm. I'm really hopeful about the back road improvements. I would like to see that go through and get that straight repaved and widened. It's traffic's horrible on that road. Well, nobody's going to argue with that. <laughs> do you know who the Novi uh, mayor is? Nope. No? You, do you care who the Novi mayor is? I don't live here, so not particularly. Do you know who the mayor of Novi is? Oh, uh, you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, what can I say about that? You know who the mayor of Novi is? No, actually. No. You care who the mayor of Novi is? Yes. You do? I am Bob. I'm the mayor of Novi. So, yeah, I am. I'm Bob. I am the mayor of Novi. Oh, so. oh, oh really? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's always a lot of fun, and thank you to all who talked with me um, and shared their thoughts about Novi. And special thanks to Karen from Sweetwaters. Everyone needs to stop in and see her, because she really is sweet. And Dan Jones from 12 Oaks, he's a great guy too, for allowing our video team and me to invade your establishments. 
Now, one gentleman I talked to at Sweetwaters, and you didn't get to see him. I don't know why he didn't make the cut. We'll have to ask Cheryl that, but he didn't. Well, he was a runner, and he had just moved to Novi from Texas. And I was so happy to share with him that in 2019, the final two miles of the four-mile ITC corridor trail was completed, connecting ITC Community Sports Park to Ascension Hospital. This is a wonderful amenity which provides a great recreation opportunity for walking, running, or biking, and connects a park at the southernmost corner of Novi to the heart of the city. In 2020, the city reopened Lakeshore Park. The $6 million makeover was highlighted by the construction of a new 6,200 square foot building, a paved parking lot, a new park shelter and play structure, new pathways, new seating areas, renovations to the beach to prevent erosion, and a library kiosk an ancillary materials dispensary, the first of its kind in Michigan. Our Novi Parks Recreation and Cultural Services remains among the nation's elite park and recreation agencies by earning, again, reaccreditation in 2021 through the Commission for Accreditation of Park and Recreation Agencies and the National Recreation and Park Association. Novi is just one of three communities in Michigan and only 183 throughout the whole United States to have this accreditation. The accreditation is a measure of an agency's overall quality of operation, management, and service to the community. 2021 also saw additions of new pickleball courts and the installation of outdoor exercise stations at Wildlife Woods Park. The project was made possible through the Special Outreach Services Program, which is focused on increasing engagement and delivering support services and resources to senior citizens and residents in Novi with special needs or accessibility challenges. Outdoor adult fitness parks have become growing in popularity in recent years as the benefits of outdoor exercise have been recognized. Improved psychological and physiological health, decreased depression, and access to green environments are just some of the numerous benefits these, these playgrounds can provide. Now get this, last year, racing returned to Novi with the opening of the RC Raceway at the Water Tower Park. The RC Raceway at Novi Water Tower Park is the brainchild of Jeremiah Pilarski, an avid RC racer and employee with the city's park maintenance team. Jeremiah, who has a track of his own in his backyard, saw the city property near the water tower as an ideal location for an RC raceway. He put together a proposal. Uh, he put together a proposal and pitched his idea. The new addition to Park's offering has been a big hit with avid racers and has already seen many, many competitions at the course. And also last year, the much anticipated Bosco Fields opened at 11 Mile and Beck Roads. Bosco Fields is home to multi-purpose sports, athletic and recreational fields, and other amenities. As you can see, your Novi team has been hard at work enhancing services, programs, and amenities for you, our valued residents and businesses. It's no surprise that Novi was named number 10 best place to live for families in the United States of America by Forbes magazine in 2022. That's number 10 in the whole country. Simply the best. So where is Novi headed? With over 3,000 Japanese residents, 
Novi is home to the largest Japanese population in Michigan. Novi and Oakland County jointly supported long-held plans to develop the $50 million Sakura Novi Mixed Use Development. In 2018, a developer purchased 10 acres from the city for $3.15 million. The property is located at the corner of Grand River Avenue, Town Center Drive, and 11 Mile Road. And I'm proud to say Sakura Novi is expected to break ground later this year. Two residential projects scheduled for the downtown Novi area, the Bond and Towns at Main Street will bring 255 apartments and 192 condominium units to the center of our city, filling a long desire for housing stock to round out the offerings at Grand River Avenue and Novi Roads. This area will also see the full completion of the Ring Road. The northwest quadrant of the Ring Road around Novi Road, Grand River Avenue intersection was completed in 2021. And with the final leg of this project slated to be completed this year, this bypass will help both motorists and pedestrians navigate this area. As it relates to community safety, we will continue to work on ensuring our public safety teams have the tools and training necessary to maintain the quality standards for which Novi is known. City Council recently approved the purchase of new state-of-the-art in-car video and body-worn cameras for our police officers. And we anticipate delivery of two new million dollar fire engines for our fire team, one in 2023 and another in 2024. Earlier this year, City Council established a Public Safety Building Needs Committee. Now, it's no secret that over the past several years, we have discussed issues pertaining to the inadequacy and need for modernization of the existing public safety buildings, including the police station and our fire stations, one, two, and three. The Public Safety Building Needs Committee will serve as a temporary task force to further explore the issues surrounding current facilities and the possibilities for addressing them through renovation or redevelopment. The committee will also look into projected costs and potential funding or financing for the undertaking. Similarly, City Council has created an Older Adults Needs Committee to serve an advisory board to the council and empower seniors, create more opportunities for their input in the city programs, understand senior needs, projects, and events. Novi seniors are active and engaged, and a community the size of Novi should have a dedicated senior center. We look forward to hearing what the committee reports. Everyone, get ready to make a splash in Novi late this summer with the addition of a new spray ground at Bosco Fields. In partnership with the Novi Parks Foundation, Jessica's Splash Pad, in memory of the late beloved Fox 2 meteorologist Jessica Starr, who was a Novi resident, will be a 3,200 square foot weather-themed destination fun splash pad for the young and the young at heart. Through the more than 11 years now as your mayor and nearly five decades of serving this city, I find it useful to frequently step back, take a moment to reflect on the big picture, evaluate where we've been, and ask what work must be done to continue to move our city forward, to maintain our simply the best status. Novi is as diverse as it is complex. Answering how we progress requires consistently making time to revisit where we succeeded 
and reflect on how we could have done things differently. I do know continued investments in our community, albeit infrastructure, business, or housing stock, when planned appropriately, is necessary for our tax base and to keep Novi the premier city for which we are known. It also requires a constant commitment to listening, learning, collaborating, and taking action. In the coming months, if you hear anyone speak negatively about our Novi, talk about failures or should be's or should have been's, please remember what you've heard here today. Encourage them to visit our city website, follow the city on social media, and all these great facts are there for them to see, read, and hear for themselves. Together, we've accomplished many great things, yet more work remains. Good governance and a strong community is built through tireless daily work by each one of us and all of us working together. We need to continue to build on Novi's momentum and meet new challenges and opportunities together because together we make Novi simply the best. I'm looking ahead in anticipation as we work together residents, businesses, and elected leaders to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to be a successful and contributing member of our community. I am extremely proud of all the accomplishments of the past few years, and I look forward to what the future holds for our Novi. I truly enjoy being the mayor of this great city. Not only do I get to serve the community, but I have the opportunity to work with some of the best people I've ever met, and I'm privileged to call colleagues and friends. As the proud mayor of the city of Novi, I tell you, the state of our city is strong. It's vibrant, dynamic, energized, and simply the best. I thank you for being a part of our Novi family. May God bless you all. And may God continue to bless the great city of Novi. Thank you very much.